prepare you for the group of intermediates that are going to that you're going to work with this morning so what i'm going to try and do is give you some tricks some information so that you can make good decisions out there today okay so this morning we're going to talk about the needs of intermediate skiers and some tools that we can use to help them improve uh, their skiing ability and maybe access some different types of terrain on the mountain okay if you had to pick one word to describe her skiing jeff what would that be the scenario is about an hour or two from now, we're going to have some busloads of people coming in. They're going to be intermediate type skiers, maybe some beginner skiers. We're going to have a bit of a mix. And uh, this is the day we've got to work with in the train. So I'm going to give you a few ideas of how we can work the mountain with them and get results. The goal with those people is to give them a great, safe and fun experience. Just have a little look at some of the skiers as they go past. That could be a very typical type skier that we would get today in our lessons. So I'm going to ride up with half the group this time and then I'll make sure I ride up with the other half the next time. So this is an opportunity to, you know, ask Bruce, you know, how he's feeling this time of year. So, and I'm going to have you ask each other, ideally, what would you like out of your lesson today? Probably the best way to start is to find out what people want out of their day. You know, so when you guys are get, when you gather your groups, just ask them. What do you want? Like, so out of this session, what, what are your expectations, Jeff? Uh, what was yours again, Maggie? What about you, James? What do you want? And I just want you to stay with me over here. So keep coming towards me. All right. And as I move my group about the mountain, I want to make sure that they're comfortable, that they know where they're going. So how are we doing? We okay? Right. So I've moved you away from the top of the gondola where it's busy and I brought you here where I'll have your attention. Questions that I would like you to ask as you go up the lift with your group today are questions like, do you play other sports? Do you do other activities? When was the last time you skied? Are those your boots? And then if you can ask them some other questions like maybe, do you work? What kind of work do you do? If you have an engineer, you're going to know that they are big thinkers. So let's go see what terrain we've got down here. For so safety wise, means I'm getting ready to slow down and stop. So prepare to stop around me safely, preferably below me. And I want to make sure that my groups know that today as well. Away we go. So in making decisions, one of them is about the situation. Every time the situation changes, we, so you come to any intersections. If it's the first time down, make sure you keep your class together for control wise and safety. So we just come off the gondola. I'm not in a great position right here. So we're going to move away from the gondola. I'm going to take you over to the terrain that I've chosen based on the conversations I've had in the gondola. On a low intermediate a skier, it's always better to go faster on flatter terrain than it is to go slower on steeper terrain. And that's a big mistake we often see with our instructors in the ski school is that we always challenge our students to steep. Take a look, you guys. <clears throat> we got lots of new snow here. Visibility is so-so. What are we going to do in this kind of situation, okay? See, I'm facing you guys, and you're out on the slope. So right away here, I want you to make another half turn and get against the woods here. Let's go. So why do you think I did that, you guys? It's very important. We don't want any accidents with our clients today. So I want you to make sure you're going to take good care of them. And then we have this zigzag turn shape. And now that I get a little more depth out of them, I try to take it out. But I do it with a little more of a, a roundness to the turn shape now. So this same arc right through here, if they steer their way into the fall line and then continue to steer, taking out this straight spot, they'll spend some time in the fall line without skipping over top of it skiing down the hill versus across the hill and across the hill. And I want you to leave three turns in between you, okay? Watch my track and see if you can do the same kind of turn shape. So do you feel like you are flowing down the mountain? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's easy for us, but our clients might not be the same thing, huh? I think they're gonna be a little bit more all over the place. Okay, so just push your feet ahead a little bit. Imagine you got a, a big pile of snow there and you got to play with your base of support, huh? Okay, does that make sense? Okay, that's enough, get back there. <laughs> and I want you to follow the track and I'm gonna take it even more. I'm gonna go beyond three. I might even go to four o'clock, so right up the mountain to show that 
you can reduce speed by turning, okay? The motor skill development, it's a big, it's a big mouthful and there's a lot of information there. But what I find is that we spend most of our time working at two parts of that whole thing, initiation and acquisition, okay? We're always trying something new and then we're always trying to acquire that skill. And those two parts require lots of repetition. If you can build your lesson around this kind of concept, give them a task. And then if you ask a question based on, did you succeed at the task? And then go, what did you have to do to change? So you're getting them to reflect a little bit on what they did. So when the train changes a little bit, I'm gonna lead you down this time. And then I may pull out and I'm gonna change the turn shape. I'm gonna make it a little bit rounder on the steeper pitch so that I can maintain the same speed on the way down. Let's bend, but I want you to bend over your outside ski, okay? Show me how to do that. Okay, now if you get your clients out here and show them what to do in a stationary position, okay, we're showing right here, it's gonna be much easier for them when they start moving. Does that make sense? We're gonna take it down to that next tower, another section, but this time I want you to really emphasize that flexion. Very simple. Leave two turns, go ahead.